Students from across the country competed this year in Samsung's Solve for Tomorrow Challenge, which challenges students to come up with creative uses of technology for the public good. Five groups of public high school students were named grand prize winners, taking home $120,000 in technology for their school. Among the grand prize winners, students at Brooklyn Technical High School for their app aimed at preventing traffic deaths. Brooklyn Tech students Allison Collard and Benjamin Spiegel join us now to discuss Allison and Ben, welcome and congratulations to you both. Very you. exciting news. Now tell us what inspired you to create this app because I understand there was a series of sad events that, that led to this, is that right? Yes, actually um, three years ago I lost three of my friends from my middle school. They were hit by cars and killed. They were um, pedestrians? Yes, yes, they were just crossing the streets or one of my friends was actually just standing at the bus stop and they got run over. How awful. And obviously, were these also students that you knew as well, Ben? Or They actually school? were not. They were uh, from Allison's Middle School. Okay. And so this inspired you to create an app that does what? Ben, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, so the, the app, it picks up the sound profile of the environment on, uh, on smartwatches um, th through the microphone on the smartwatch and it, it uses a bunch of complex uh, physics algorithms to determine whether or not a car engine is heard. And if a car engine is heard, what happens? Well, uh, we, we would like for the, the watch to have, a, it has a haptic feedback feature, so we, we'd like for it to vibrate so it will alert the user if a car is coming. If a car is coming and yeah. obviously the end result is to try and prevent pedestrian traffic deaths, correct? Exactly. So what was the most challenging part about creating this? I mean, it sounds pretty complicated for <laughs> high school students. Yeah, uh, it was definitely very complicated. We had to go through a lot of debugging, a lot of tuning, because there were just, uh, once we decided that we were going to use sound to try to um, to combat or to try to, to solve this problem, it was, it was just a matter of, you know, finding the right algorithms, tuning them, making sure that there are no, there's a small percentage of false positives, false negatives, uh, so that was a massive hurdle. And how long was this process? It was about 40 hours. 40 of, hours. Of debugging mm -hmm. and tuning. And so you did it over the, over the course of this year? Yes. The competition itself started in November, I believe, something like that, yeah. And how many were on your team? Four. Four. Yes. Okay, great. And so now, what does your school get exactly out of your winning app? <laughs> it's uh, $120,000 worth of technology. Great. And what does that mean? Does that mean computers, laptops? Yeah, it could yeah. be Samsung laptops. It could mean a new uh, computer right. lab. So. Okay, great. So now what's going to happen with your app? Do you know? What's next? Well, well we want to get it out to the public. We yeah. want to develop it more. We want to mm -hmm. make sure that it's ready for the consumer. And we want to save those lives. All right. And Allison, what is next for you? What would you like to do after high school? Um, well, I'm definitely interested in pursuing the whole um, community outreach um, like type mm -hmm. of work. I definitely want to help the community more and maybe build a few more apps in the process. It sounds great. And Ben, how about you? I definitely want to pursue STEM for sure. For sure? Absolutely. Allison, do you think that this competitions like this help get more girls in general interested in STEM? Was this something that you were already interested in? Um, well, I was interested in STEM in general before the competition, but um, I wasn't really involved with like software and coding, um, and this like competition got me interested in that, and I'm actually interested in pursuing that as well. Now, you all worked on a team, so obviously everyone has various strengths and weaknesses, correct? Allison, what would you say within the team was your strength? Well, I tried to organize um, the teams, trying to get everyone to show up and um, like they so that they knew what was to be done for that specific day. Right. And so you kept it yes. chugging along. Yes. You kept, you were the motor. <laughs> and Ben, how about you? I definitely say my uh, my role was uh, in the the development of the app and mm -hmm. also being able to explain uh, a more complex idea and program to a more uh, an audience less acquainted with the field. Would you like to see it expanded? In other words, now it works on sound, but could you envision it being expanded to also work on vibrations or other signals? Yeah, I mean it's possible. We mm -hmm. we could explore a lot of a lot of uh, you know different different mediums to uh, to get a sort of you know 
a working program. Um, do you have the app now uploaded to your to your watch? No, I don't actually. No. This is not a smart watch. <laughs> uh, we actually don't own any uh, Samsung smart watches. Um, not yet. Who knows what yet. they're going to give you with this hundred and twenty thousand dollars worth of technology? <laughs> Allison and Ben, congratulations to you both again. Great, great idea and fantastic um, development of the app. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much.